Police Officers UK. So you've not seen any trouble today then? No, no. There was a little bit of trouble earlier, but she jumped in and stopped it. So There's so many people here today as well to stand against tyranny. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I'm here to stand against tyranny too. It's like, yeah, we need medical freedom. We need all our freedoms. Yeah. We're human beings. We're not commodities. Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. That is an excerpt from a great new video by our newest rebel. As you know, we have been beefing up our complement of journalists, not just here in Canada, but around the world. We're just killing it. In Australia, Avi Amini based in Melbourne, Yasmin Sawyer in Brisbane, and Mario Malik in Sydney, we've got Australia covered. But you might recall how much we love the United Kingdom. I personally used to travel there, but once a month, before the pandemic to cover the news, including uh, censorship matters, contempt to court, the story of Tommy Robinson, a lot of things. Of course, the pandemic really shut down travel. I just can't afford to take a two week quarantine returning, but we have found a great rebel on the ground. You saw an excerpt of his latest video. I am delighted to give you a more formal introduction to Lewis Brackpool who joins us now via Skype from Yapton, which is on the coast of England. Hey, Lewis, it's great to see you. Thanks for joining the team, and thanks for your great videos. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. Uh, Apologies in advance as well. I've, uh, I've got a bit of a cold, so sorry, I'm sounding a bit like Louis Armstrong at the minute, but um, it's not COVID, so sorry <laughs> to anyone out there that's uh, wanting me dead from that, but uh, it's not gonna happen, sorry. <laughs> well, you look pretty healthy. I'm sure even if you did have COVID that you'd recover quickly, as quickly as Donald Trump did, for example. Um, now, you've been covering these protests. They're very interesting. And one of the themes in your videos, and we'll play your video in full later in the show, is that it has brought together an unusual coalition, people on the left, people on the right. I'm sure there are people who used to be divided along the lines of, are you a Brexiteer, are you a Leaver, or a Remainer? in the European Union? Are you for Labour? Or are you for Conservatives or another party? It seems like it's a new coalition and the fault line is, do you believe in personal bodily integrity, privacy, or are you a lockdownist and a forced injector? I think that's the new dividing line. What do you think? Yeah, I totally agree with you. I mean, Brexit was um, a big turning point in politics, especially obviously in the, in the United Kingdom. And it showed a lot of Labour voters who uh, sort of defected almost from Labour after the massive divide that Brexit entailed. And it's it's repeating itself once again with uh, all this COVID malarkey. And I was catching up with uh, David Curtin, who obviously you might have seen in the extract from the video, and he was saying the same thing. Uh, it's becoming like a, a, a Brexit 2.0, so it's it's... It's quite extraordinary. It's quite extraordinary to watch both uh, the left and the right just coming together now and uh, starting to realise that we don't like tyranny. Uh, you've seen a couple of um, labourites, uh, fringe labourites, they're they're being called now, who are uh, going against the COVID mandates in the United Kingdom, and, it, and it's great to see. Uh, I don't think they're as welcome as uh, us on the right are uh, in terms of fighting against uh, tyranny because uh, they like to um, sort of flirt with that sometimes. But yeah, we are starting to see some sort of pact, a sec- well, not a secret pact, but you know what I think I mean by that. Yeah, a working coalition. And um, I mean, it's the crisis of the day. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a monologue on the news of the day, then I interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. You gotta subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com.